welcome to another 3D Gamics lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create the legs for our character. So let's go ahead and start off by creating a custom shape ellipse tool. And I'm just going to create a shape sort of like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the selection and delete the layer. Okay. And then at the top, I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to fill that with that color. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just rotate this ever so slightly. And I'm going to move this down um, into the um, body here. Okay, right like that. And that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. Alright, and then I'm going to duplicate that again. Alright, and then I'm going to just kind of rotate this a little bit. Alright, and then I will rotate it back so that it's straight, or at least pretty straight anyway. I'll grab all these objects and just move them in just to hair and then move this one back out. I will then go ahead and grab this and pull it down one last time so that it's like that. I'll then go ahead and merge all those layers together. I'll then go ahead and duplicate that and bring that duplicate above body 2 and then I'll go ahead and scale that down some. Okay, And right about there is going to be the spot that I want. And then one last time, I'm going to move this down like so, making the leg even smaller. All right, And that right there is starting to look pretty good. And if I were to move this above the face, you'd see it would look kind of weird. So that's why I have it still behind this other one. And all right, let's go ahead and name this legs front, legs mid, and legs back. And then I need to go ahead and use the different styles that we created earlier. Um, I like this one right here. And I'm just going to apply that to the legs. Okay? To kind of create a uh, digital looking leg here. And that right there is pretty nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the drop shadow and I'm going to up that size. And I'm just going to, let's actually not even worry about doing that. Let's uh, grab the filter, render, and lighting effects. And before I do that, let's actually do one last thing. Let's go ahead and grab these layers and duplicate them. And let's move this one back, and then the these two here we're going to do a transform horizontally and then we're just going to move this all the way over to the other side like so okay and that looks pretty good uh, I'll go ahead and leave the legs alone for now and in the um, next lesson we'll go ahead and uh, shadow this whole thing up a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and create the tusks real quick. And to create the tusks we're simply going to uh, grab our custom shape tool this time and we're going to choose the different custom shapes until we see one that we like. Alright, and I kinda like this one so I'm going to rotate that like so. And then I'll actually go ahead and transform that horizontally. Actually, no, I won't. I'll leave it alone. Alright. Then I'll create a duplicate and then transform it horizontally. And this one here we're just going to drag over to the other side. And then I'm going to drag both of these up above the face here, like so. And, um, that looks pretty good. So I'll leave that and 
Now all that's left to do is shade this image up some, and we will do that in the next lesson. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. I know that I have, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.